as you can see, we've got a variation between Morocco, Saharan Desert, and the oil fields of Oman. Mm. So, you know. We have a wide variety assortment of bolts. For your selection. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that, she comes right off. Shut up. <laughs> the, the whole gasket. Lift with your back, one. sharp jerking motions. Get your claw hammer here. Hoorah! Oh gosh, dang it! I told myself I was gonna use my cherry picker for this. Hulk, do some more smashing. In instances like these, it's really not high nice. It's really high. Really nice to have a rotisserie style engine stand. Smashing darlings. You could say it's been uh, frozen in time for a... Yeah, just a little bit. For a bit. Woo! She's... Needs a little oil. Right? <laughs> just a little. Yikes. Now I gotta flex it back to get it to sit on the craft. Nice. There we go. Oh. Forge! Welcome, everybody. Today, we're going to tear this bad boy 460 down and see what evil lurks beneath. And it is almost Halloween. Is that, it's mid, it's October 6th or 7th, so you know. This will be right in time for Halloween. I don't know when you guys are going to view it because uh, YouTube upload recording episode shenanigans. I just, whatever. All right, there we go. Tearing down a Ford 460 that had an engine fire in the engine compartment. Make sure you put your bolts back where they belong. I can be your Vanna White. Be like... <laughs> there you go. Be... I can do that. Okay. The doctor is operating. Ooh, she's warm. Oh, yeah. That oil. Oh, it's vintage. It's vintage oil. You figure if it was parked 17 years ago, but we don't know what the last oil change was before that. So yeah. it could be 20, 40 year old oil, eh? Pretty bad. Um, okay. Power steering pump off. Let's keep that spacer with it. That's fine. But guess what? We have zoomed in the camera, but it's zoomed in in the wrong part. So then you have to go over here. You have to go up here. There's a little bit of light that's blowing out the picture. So that's all the lovelies. It actually spins decently, that's surprising. So this is the idler, but the, the clutch, clutch, right, the clutch actually is, spins as yeah. well. So there could be hope for that compressor. Yeah, I'm definitely going to save on that. Well, we'll get a new one for the. Yeah, I'll, I might be able to put it to use in other applications. Toss me all the, the bolts for those, that way you can put them in the same pile. Okie dokie. Got one more? Oh, there's two more. Oh, one fell to the ground. Nope, 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 hang on, hang about. That might require manual. Oh, a little chewy looking? Yeah, I can't, I don't think I can get in there very well. No. You got the cutest little fuel pump on here. Charlie's are impact rated. I'll put it back in the water pump for now. If you want, you can. Oh, might need a little love tap. With the love tapper. Right to tap, tap. Right to tap, tap. There she goes. Okay. Well, now we're gonna get. Well, 
That's my scrap. Oh, well. Rotate. Maybe. There you go. Rotate. Oh boy. There might be a mechanic yet. I'm not, but. I just don't know where the pry bar is. Oh, there it is. That is a pry bar. The heck you talking? Oh. Where'd you come from? I don't know. We know where we'll you just say previous owner. Yeah, I've returned to owner. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm right where I wanted it to. There we go. I should be on there for a few days, eh? Yeah. There we go. There yeah. she goes. Oh, yes. Oh. All right. Ooh. She actually came off. I'm I'm fairly surprised to be perfectly honest. Uh, that be a bit warm. I'd be careful. Oh, that's why I'm worried about it now. Ow. Okay. So. Oh. No. There's actually been a give in there. No. Yeah. Hang about. Hang about. Oh, she's coming right up. Clear. I didn't even get to use my PB blaster. Some parents, kids, I tell you, mom. Yeah, we might get you to do a or Your rubber's looking a little bit on the dry side here. Because I'm feeling extremely lazy. Actually, but I don't know how long the bolts are supposed to be. There, that's perfect. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What am I, I doing? I thought that was a good one. Well, no! I think that one might work too. It's slightly different. I got like two kits. Cause this one is a little different. Yeah, okay, fine, that'll work. Buzzy's down right quick to 90,000 foot pounds. Why am I too wrong? It's 5 eighths, it's apparently not 9 sixteenths. Ugh, oh, this is getting awfully complicated. Don't let me down. Would you like to uh, get ready to cut that, sir? Thank you, sir. Look at that. The spacer's actually loose. I guess we can have nice things once in a while. No. No. All right. I guess we're gonna shut down that idea. Where's the hammer? Okay. This is the correct way to remove a wood rough key. Because I don't know where the smaller chisel's at. Someone had it last. Do you want it? Be preferable. <laughs> the loser now. Four. Hold on, that's me, Garcon. Wow, that spacer came right out. That was way too easy, which means we got something bigger issues going on inside of the rig. <laughs> ah, anyways. <laughs> Whatever. I think I'm using some thread chasers on this thing. Uh, we'll get all new. Yeah. We, yeah. That one out. Yep, she's just really, yep. really not happy. Okay. So as you can see, we've got a variation between Morocco, Saharan Desert, and the oil fields of Oman. Mm. So, you know. We have a wide variety assortment of bolts. For your selection. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think she's going to, I think she's going to come out. She's going to make a nasty mess too, eh? I know. Not bad, not bad. Well, that coolant, that coolant doesn't look terrible on this side. I don't know if you're thinking pick it up, but the uh, oh yeah 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 the go blade go actually looks pretty good. It's not bad. It actually spins. Really I don't pretty. think the I don't know if the fire would have damaged it very much because oh, most of it was on the side. Well, I don't know. We'll go pick up a new one. Not bad. Not bad. A little. Oh. Here you go, dipstick. 
Wow. Wow. Attitude. You're the one who drew me into this project. Yeah, but you said yes. Okay, yeah, fine, whatever then. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All right, timing cover. Shall we see what your timing uh, gear looks? Timing gear. Well, set looks the like? previous owner didn't touch it, so it's probably okay. Shade thrown, people. Okay, that's no oh, two of them actually. Right here, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I think we can switch up to the half inch. Oh, so it's here, there. Yeah. Hey, okay. we still? Oh yeah, we're good. Oh, fine, tricky. The native drums are beating. Hang on, hang on, hang about, hang about. I think there's, yeah, there's one extra bolt. Well, that would make sense. Wow. I got done working on a Ford Etzel. Not a 385 series, so just yeah. Hey, look at that! She comes right off. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh, a little sludgy. Yeah. Not horrible. It doesn't actually look all that no. terrible. Your chain's actually. Oh, oh. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's still hanging on there. That's fine. See, look at this side. It's per it's balanced. Equally oh, balanced saying, as all things should be. You're saying it's all about averages, huh, sir? That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take your space. That's your oil sling. Actually, if you put a true timing roller set, we all don't technically need that, but that's actually not chewed up because most of these get chewed up and go far, far away. But uh, that's actually that's that tells me it's a lower mileage. But yeah, I think it's all about averages. <laughs> Glad we did not try to crank this thing up. Not a... Oh. Oh, because I bet the engine's frozen. Mm. So it's stuck in, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I might have to advance it or... Let me get a. Uh, it's come here. Let me yeah. PB blaster it. Yeah, let me get a pry bar in there or something. This is a way to properly remove a distributor, folks. that folks Let's have not bad not bad she's all hey she's got a thermostat wouldn't you know it I had a thermostat stuck open actually oh well she wasn't exactly stuck <laughs> open <laughs> she was a uh, wireless unit you know Bluetooth she was one of those two-part uh, thermostat deals oh <laughs> oh Woo! Yeah, your water jacket looks a little bit worse for wear. Who wants to take a bet on the temperature of it? Which means... Oh, FOMOCO. What'd you call me? Pardon? Hello? Yeah, Torg she... radiator. Oh yeah, I figured that Oof. out. That does not look good. That does not spell good news for the water jackets. <laughs> yeah. mm. I wonder like if it just got... I wonder if it got hot and yeah, it just exactly. separated itself. This is the part that I am the least excited about. <laughs> oh, ye of realistic of, faith. Of realistic faith, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. I have already been in the other side. As the famous song once said, break on through to the other side. Well, you're on the other side of the looking glass now, sir, and um, almost. Now, this one's most peed on. Woohoo! Now, put the bolts away, we'll uh, lift it out together. Oh. We'll, we'll see for the first time. In fact, do we think, how many valves do we think are stuck open? I think Four, six. six. I think so, Bill. Eight. I think six of them. Let me zoom out and we'll find out. I'll let the uh, owner do the honors. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's not exactly the best oh. noise in the world. What do we got? What do we got? I'm very anxious. Oh, gosh. 
it's been several months since we picked this project up. Uh oh, owner, owner's not giving me a. Well, this is not actually that. It's 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 tainted. This is the PCV side as well, so. It's tainted, but it's that's... not completely sludge, but it's definitely been neglected at some point because it's black. That's, uh, um, let me get my light up in here. At least well, remember, this is probably the heat side of the fire as well, which could be the reason why it's baked on. And possibly. So Fortunately, there's not a lot of sludge buildup, which I will take that as a good thing, but it's still... It's a little bit on the blacker side for engine oil, to be honest, but it doesn't look that bad. Honestly, I've seen a heck of a lot worse. All right, let's, well, let's do uh, door number two over there. Oh, those actually still spin. Oh, oh really? Not that one. Yeah, that could one. be on this that cycle. Yeah. Yep, not that one. But yeah, six out of eight spin. So that's uh. It doesn't look bad, honestly. No. I in really college surprised. we did one of them a Chevy 4.3 early 90s Blazer, yep. and it was all caked on. My freaking. It's actually not bad. My instructor said that's because you use your 1040 weight, and I'm thinking to myself. No, you idiot. You just never change your freaking oil. Yeah. But anyways, that's a different rant for a different that's time it. about instructors who may or may not know what's going on. Not bad. Just, oh, yeah. you know, oh, that's fine. It's all organic. No There's a little puddle up there. Yeah. That's fine. All right, let's uh, we'll go ahead and pop the other one off now. The sound is terrible. Just going to crunch. Oh. Oh. That's, that that There's looks, a bit more color on this yeah, side. That looks a little better. So it's black, yeah? Yeah. I don't see anything major. The uh, bottom side of, of the valve cover is actually, the underside was, is actually nice and clean. That's so, much better. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, so it could have been PCV mixed with heat. Could have been. Fits now. Nice. That works. Well, oh, there's studs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's good. I thought there was one here. No. That's Ford for you. Yeah. They're just a little bit different. Like me. Ha 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 So normally these are 916 bolts, but you put our 916s on here. Way too wobbly, so we have to smash a half inch on here to get it to come out. Which, as you can see, does work. It's just a bit of a pain in the behoody. Now. And that's how you squeeze a half inch onto a 916 bolt. And here we go. Woo, unhappy. Booyah. Okay. So I've got that one out and that one out. Yeah. She's she's just uh it, here tap around here though. Like uh on the Oh, there you go. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Now before the, the whole gasket. Lift with your back, one. sharp jerking motions. Oh wow, clean. Really? Well, in a very, very relative most sense. Yeah. Cam's, Cam looks a little bit on the dry side. But it doesn't look bad, initially. Oh. Actually, that wipes well, that's off. Actually, what is all this? Or did that just fall in? That just fell in, I think. Oh. It's, you know, that's good oil right there. Well, you can't buy other stuff. You hear about those people that buy those that the old oil that's no, unused and I put it. it. It's just like people that oil is sixty years old. That oil is junk compared to the modern technology we have now. But some people insist, oh, that's the best. How does your intake? Well, intake valves look a little crusty on the inside. I really can't get you guys in there right now. But honestly, I don't see any major on the camshafts journals. I really don't see that all that much uh, problem other than yeah, I could tell it's dry. 
thank goodness we did not try to spin this motor after all. She needs some pre-lubing done. So, now that being said, I think we'll pull some cylinder heads yeah. off and waste some of the pistons. They're on there by hand, apparently. Oh, well, that's solid. I mean, I know PB oh. Blaster. Oh. They look like speedy nuts. Or no, yeah, they look like speedy nuts. Oh. Unless that one's just completely rotted out. No, that's exactly what they are. They're uh, speed. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, oh, maybe we'll come off then. I don't know. Yeah, it's all there. <laughs> How many are there? Is that it? Oh. Da 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 da. Oh. oh yeah, that's you know. That's oh, no, 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 look. Oh. I'm sure an exhaust leak wouldn't have been slightly possible. What in the FOMO Co. is this all about? Let me drag you guys in here. There's a bolt that's... I'm sure there was a wicked exhaust leak because of that. Uh, well, that's interesting. That's rather... Yeah, check that bolt out. Obviously, we haven't touched it, and it's uh, sticking out. I don't know what the heck that's all about. Now, are these going to come off my hand? How many we got to yeah. shear up? I don't know. I'm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, hang on. Hang them out. You know... Just set this upside down and set it on it, you know, just... That's fine. You know. See, that's less weight that the truck has to carry around. Yeah. See? Yeah. We're go. actually improving. We're being green, people. There we go. Some people mm. pay money for that. No. Mm. Fascinating. Let's break some exhaust manifold bolts. Okay, apparently their fancy team's not half inch. One. Ah! Dang, my, uh... Well, can't have everything. There you go. So you can see the exhaust manifold bolts, all that necking that takes place right in the middle. It's pretty nasty. That's why they snap right in the middle. Yeah. Now I know I could take the torch and be gentle with them and do all this and that, but honestly, I really don't care because these will drill out easily enough. Because I'm snapping them off and they're going to be drilled out right the first time. Woo! Win! Win! This one. It, was, it wasn't even in there. It was just sitting there. Must have vibrated out. Woo! Woo. All down. of them came out. So there's only one. That snapped on us, that's good. It's about ready to fall. Should be. Crunchy. Okay. Oh yeah, third gear. Smells that rank. smells really bad. Some of them might be through bolts. Don't worry, I'll I'll chase all the threads on here. And you're probably gonna get new freeze plugs too. Uh, yep. Stainless or brass? brass? What's the difference? Brass. Brass. No. The difference is the color. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's it, right? Well. Just put an exhaust port. Just put an exhaust port in pride. Don't not too aggressively, but 90 degrees. Oh, oh. Well. No, okay, hang on, hang about. I wanna... That's fine, that's fine. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, it's, um. Ooh, there she goes. Okay, now hang on a second. Ooh. I gotta get the camera. Turn the light back on. All right, so do we have a grenaded cylinder? Oh, she's light. Yep. She's very light. It's okay. 
No, no hernias here. Yeah. I'm not an old man anymore. I've already had two hernia surgeries. I don't need a third. Right. Ole Cucumanga! Woo! Yeah, this would not have turned over by hand. <laughs> you don't think so? Come hither yonder. <laughs> she, just, she had a little bit of moisture in her lifetime, eh? It'll buff out. Well, that's why she wouldn't turn over. There's your problem, right there. This, um, this powdered stuff, eh? Whew. Um, we will be doing some much hoing and humming and hawing on this. Yeah. Well, that would explain why she didn't want to turn over by hand. I'm just saying. And you never know. This piston will come out the top. That will come out of the bottom. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Fortunately, well, the pistons don't look oxidized at all, but we really won't know until I yard them out. Okay, we've got some stuck valves. Most excellent. Yeah, this That's thing. That's probably why it got so much rust in this. That, you know, yeah, it just held open, and after 17 years of the rain yep. dribbling around it, where we live, we get a lot of rain in the winter time. Not really. But we got a little bit of carbon flaking going on. You see, we're already getting more performance out of it. Woo! Jeez, uh, Thankfully, I it'll know. clean up. It'll clean up. It's a lower mileage unit. It just that's just you know rust from it sitting yep. out in the weather for so. Unfortunately, for so so long, but your head gasket actually looks really good. It, your head gasket right. came there's off in no, one piece. Uh, yeah, actually, there's no degradation in the ceiling wall no. anywhere here. So definitely not blown gasket. That's, so it wasn't running on water. Good. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's Jeez. that's the one that's left open. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. We'll see. What it's something. Yay. One mass. Yeah. Then, I'm we, game. then we done. I'm game. Okay, there's one. Uh oh. Might have to uh, vice <sighs> yeah. bench that off, eh? There's always one, huh? Uh, there's always one in every family. Right, stand by. I thought that was e Wow! Oh, yes. No! Another broken one. At least it's a clean break. Yeah. Ah, well, we got three to do on this side. Let me, I'll go ahead and just do it. Chewy. Ooh, she was a... Yummy. She was a little extra chewy there. Look oh, yeah. Uh... Oh. Radio, hey ho, here we go. Let's see if this one pops up in the ear. Oh, yeah. Ah, well, just about the same as the other side. Looks like it could be same set for the cylinder holes. Oh, just got a bit of oxidation in there, eh? I'll take a vacuum to that bad boy. What is that? Alright, well, holes look about the same as the other side, so... They are... Oh! There we go. Thank you, sir. Oh! <laughs> There's more I think I need to hoover some more up, eh? I'm just left in the dang block. Un mas. Si, senor. This one strips out and you know, breaks. Be my luck. Arsenal? Yeah, just a little sludgy. Not bad, though. Ah, she stinks. Actually, yeah, not bad. Not bad in all honesty. I'm seeing a lot worse. For you, Scarson. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, brah. No four bolt mains here. We struck out again. Wah, wah. There you go. Just barely enough, though. Here, I'll, I'll climb on top. Yeah. Ooh, this is a service champ. I, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't where, know. I'll do some research on where service champ came from. <laughs> <laughs> service champ. Oh! oh! Jesus, we forgot to drain her, eh? Don't worry, the bucket's got it. 
Hey, we got it. We got it. Okay. It has potential. And patina. So, looking at the journals right quick for the crankshaft, they don't look all that bad. The mains look pretty good, actually. They don't, uh, nice and shiny still. They don't look bad at all. Caps themselves, there's a little bit of copper starting to show up here, but no major scarring, no big grooves. So, that's all right. So that's one and five, six, seven, eight, right. Another jump cut because actually it's the next day. Brosif is out and about. So just me to tackle the harder to get bolts that cannot be rotated with the assembly, of course. But it looks like we'll be able to do it with just common wrenches and uh, three eight swivels. Not the smartest thing to do with an open end wrench, but what else are you going to do? <laughs> a little too tight to get a socket in here. There we go. Okay. Oh! Moogly, moogly. There we go. That one was a little taut, not gonna lie. There were most definitely torque specs. Oh, no, I do have one last one on here, over here. All right. Oh. Thank goodness for swivels. Gotta keep them separated. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. This is what goes in my head, in my head, all day, every day. Okay. Man, yeah, still, there's a bit of wear to them. I suppose the next part is we gotta actually take the timing chain off now. Quit your hooting and hollering. <laughs> Alrighty. There's that. <laughs> this chain is loose. Yowzers. That's definitely not gone right. Alright. Get your claw hammer here. Just gently walk her loose here. Okay. Okay, there we go. This is the four degrees reduced timing. So we'll definitely throw this out and get a true timing gear set in her to get our four de degrees, four additional degrees. And this also has the original nylon tooth. I don't know if they're called plastic or nylon. I can't remember what this stuff is actually made of. Supposedly, it uh, quieted your timing chain a little bit when you're driving down the road. But honestly, a 460, I don't know if you could ever hear <laughs> this thing unless it was slapping around. But anyways, she's well tired out and Duffy has got the goes. Yep, chipped tooth right there. Sure, plastic's better. <laughs> 
Not for timing gear sets, people. Come on, engineers, look at this. Engi you engineers, look at this. That's no good. That is no good. Oh, and that, this one's actually ready to come off as well. That's even more brilliant. <sighs> if you guys are in this far, just replace it with a standard timing set. I got the caps off as I could. I'm thinking the next thing is we're just going to try to yard this crankshaft out. And hopefully our connecting rods may rattle around enough we can... <laughs> somehow the rest of them will come off. I, I honestly have no idea how this is going to work or not work. Yeah, I think we're going to have to pound some pistons out first. I don't... Oh, maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. Hang about, hang about. Yes, that was good. That was good. It's my first time working on a seized engine here, guys. <laughs> Cut me some slack. Quit your yelling, hooting, hollering. Possibly. We can get this one out. Where's my brother when you need him? Another connecting rod here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I, excuse me, cap? They are already stamped, so I know which ones they correspond to. Ha 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 ha! Woo! Good deal. I was hoping the crank would be able to come out. Not much fuss. Good deal. The crankshaft journals look pretty good. Not much by way of scarring. Pretty even wear. There's an oil residue. I really don't want to wipe the oil off because then that just means I gotta put oil back on it to prevent rust. But uh, if we uh, go ahead and rebuild this ourselves, we'll, of course we'll shine these up so the new bearings can get some traction. But, um, but yeah, journals are pretty good, honestly. Looks very good. All right. Rods themselves are free. It's just the pistons have gotten a little bit sweaty. Over the course of many moons. Now, this engine's been sitting for, well, the truck hasn't been registered in 17 years. But I was told before that, you know, it caught fire. It went to a junkyard and they were going to total it. So I don't know how long it could have been sitting. You know, owner just bought new tags. They expired. So this thing could be sitting for almost 20 years, honestly. I mean, it's technically possible. That's right, you dumb dumb. You got Put our shiny impact sockets on impact rated sockets on all right okay trainer well you gotta reach up from underneath here and then you gotta push here you gotta lift we gotta limp it out you gotta clear all the journals <laughs> right Tally -ho. okay Oh, I think I can get her from here, eh? You know, the bearings are fairly taut still. And voila. Yeah, I mean, you got varnish on here. But, you know, I don't see many. No lobes or I don't see any lobes that have been wiped or flat spots. Co cobes, lobes have got some varnish, but they're not terrible. I did see one spot here, probably where the water has gotten into. There we got a little bit of pitting, starting right there. I can back that off, roll that up. There we go. There's some pitting that's starting right there, but um, yeah, we'll see what the machina says. See that right? Let's go ahead. I'm gonna clean these bores up first. Give this the best possible chance without scraping anything too much off of here. Shock load it maybe a little bit. Help that pin ring on again in there. I don't know if that'll work or not, but 
be nice to save that piston, but with all the oxygen oxidation on it, I just don't know yet. Let's try and get the biggest chunkies off of here so we don't scar things up too badly and pop the pistons out. In case if we do have to rebuild it, at least <laughs> there's a few less hours of labor that'll take to they'll charge us for unfreezing this engine. Well, actually I got to thinking about it. This hole, this piston actually could be removed from the bottom of the engine. There's only two holes on this block that allow that to happen. See how this piston, you can actually scoot it all the way out. You cannot with the others because you run against the main journal boss part of the block. See how that piston's right there, you just can't squeeze that out because it rubs into here. But this guy here is clear. Actually, we can pop that from the bottom. The only other one that can do that is uh, opposite side. And that can do that. All these other ones are basically more or less trapped. You have to go out and you have to push them out. But, oh well, let's, um, let's see if we can get this one actually squeezed out by pushing it down, which would be better so we don't score up the cylinder sleeves so bad or cylinder wall so bad. Get your uh, eight pound split and maul out of town here. Oh boy. Mm. Not much for hope here. Oh, we have movement. I think we have movement. Did use my brass punch, of course. Which is still putting dents in the piston crown. Good, 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 good. Eh, ever so slight, but. So I got a chunk of dug fur, and a piece of oak. We're up in the ante a little bit. Still soft to the piston, but we're gonna try the air hammer method now. Little tiny shocks, maybe that'll help it out, eh? It definitely moved. Let's see, right there, there's some fresh rust that's never been exposed before. So actually, we are making headway. It's just, do I want to do this for another three hours? <laughs> it's starting. It's starting very, very slowly. Just trying. Hulk, do some more smashing. I just put a two by four underneath the block so it doesn't act like a spring. This is part of some oak flooring I had lying around. So it's a lot tougher. Okay, we're gonna shake things up a bit. Well, this will help or not, maybe. I've also braced the block so it doesn't bounce anymore. We're also switching from the eight pound mall to the 10 pound Husky. I hope my aim's good. Or maybe not. Okay, so I milled off a four by four, one piece driver. May or may not work, I don't know. A little bit less spring on the block now. Ah, gosh darn it all. <laughs> I just can't have nice things. I'm gonna do at least one piston, guys. 
one piston, one hone job. I have a bad feeling this thing's going to the um, the rebuilders. This one piston is this shot. This 4x4 was rotted out when I got it, so uh, I'll have to find a fresh piece of lumber if I want to try this trick again. Hey! Oh, crap. That wasn't good. I don't think we hurt it too badly. <laughs> Let's take a closer look here. Yeah, you think we've had stuck rings? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, people. If your engine's frozen, you might be able to get it to unlock. But sitting for 20 years, look at all that rust that's just caked in there. Um, piston skirt itself, at least on this side, actually doesn't look all that bad. I can't feel it. I can't feel those lines at all. First, I'd like to give it a quick hone job, just on the one cylinder, for funsies to see um, if it might actually clean up or not. Then we'll work on the piston and I'll get brother involved and I'll ask him what kind of adjustment call he wants to make from there. This is one of the two pistons that are severely oxidized. So I'm really curious to see how well these are going to clean up. Probably the biggest thing if I was to reuse this block without rebuilding it would probably, would probably be pitting. Nice about bar oil is really sticky. It's very sticky stuff. Well, not sticky sticky, but it's stickier. And here's better to the cylinder wall. It's probably that's a rinse or um, wipe this off and try get some, get some new oil on this thing, perhaps. Whatever. Drilling. Alright, that was 15. Okay. Yeah, put all the oil in the coolant passage. Yeah, that's fine. Felt a little smoother. See some rust staining, but there is no ring ridge. It's smooth to the top. Oh, okay, take the break. There's an ever so slight amount. Well, that less than one thousandths. 10,000 seven inch, it's bare, I can barely feel it. Yes, I'll get you guys in here in a second, just keep your pants on. If you're not wearing pants at all, then I really hope you're in your house right now. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Not bad, there's still a little bit in there. A little bit of rust, if I can feel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got pitting on our liners. <laughs> liners. This is not a diesel. This is a gasser, you numb nuts. Yeah, we've got some pitting. Um, which would concern me greatly. That concerns me greatly. Stuff that's sticking out to knock back down, that's okay. But if it's recessed into the cylinder wall itself, that's, um, that's not good. Let me bring you in here. So looking at the cylinder walls, I wasn't too terribly concerned about the rust up here. Um, that knocked down, it's fairly smooth, but we got some pitting going on. That's what really concerns me. Okay, I know this is cell phone camera, but this is the only camera I can, that can actually get in close enough. See the pitting here? You can see pitting in here. Can't tell if that one down there is pitting or not. No, that's not. We got pitting up along here, all along here, right there, and a little bit right here with the piston. Basically, this is where the piston rings were sitting. So unfortunately, I cannot fill that in. I don't know how deep those are. That one wasn't a hole. That one's that one's not debris. That's a real hole. That's a real hole. And I don't know how deep they go. I don't think we're going to risk it for the biscuit. I guess in a <laughs> uh, doomsday Mad Max situation, 
you just have to slap it together and pray that's not gone through the water jacket. Best you can do. But uh, for now, we still have machine shops, and they'll be able to uh, make a judgment call on that. Kind of disappointing, but after 17 plus, 20 plus years of sitting, <laughs> I wasn't expecting uh, sunshine, daisies, and rainbows in this. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll hold a splitting mall, mall yeah, right here, right. a splitting wedge, and you just drop it right on here, 10 pounder. Oh yeah, she'd be fine. Uh, start this out, first of all. I need to start buying this by the 55 gallon barrel. So, make it somewhat easier to bash. We're gonna pre-lube all this. All right, all right. Then actually, I'm thinking, no, we'll just keep up these. I'll just let that soak here for a bit. Maybe. Let me bang on this, actually. Wipe that off, then we'll juice it up a little again. Yep. And then we'll... Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't think I can get down that far. I think it's at the bottom of the stroke. So we'll just have to hope for the best on that one. But... She's oh, wow. Easy. So I'm wondering if it's those two that were oxidized. This one, so one and eight. One of those are the real problem, Childs. Because if so, this should actually put, hopefully push out very well. Okay. Where can I? I'll give you a thumbs up if it's moving. fairly easy there we go at least you can see the rings on that you one. can see the rings on this one but that's <laughs> that rest pin's not very floaty that's pretty gosh darn stiff okay now what i'm doing is i'm just trying to avoid hitting that digging into that wrist pin i'm just trying to get just on the aluminum skirt itself Still nothing? I got oh, it. I, I, hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. I gotta lift it up. Okay. Okay. Lift up on the connecting rod here. There we go. Right. All right, go. Uh, that was not so bad. That was not so bad. Well, comparatively speaking. Uh, it moves, but that one's easy. That one feels good. Yep, that one moved. Yep, that one moved. All right, well. Jeez, oh, that is. Completely stuck. Oh! Oh, there we go. Show the show the peeps. <laughs> Here, let me rotate that around. I barely got There's some moving out screen. Oh, you're trying to flex <clears throat> a connecting rod. Yeah. Holy guacamole, Batman. <laughs> she was, uh... You could say it's been uh, frozen in time for a... Yeah, just a little bit. For a bit. Woo! She's... Needs a little oil. Right? <laughs> just a little. <laughs> Now nice. I gotta flex it back to get it to sit on the craft. Nice. There we go. You get her now? Now she's moving. Yowzers, dude. She would have moved, just a little hot. All right, last one. This is the one that's severely oxidized, but it did move technically with the uh, 10 pounder. So uh, she's probably good to go. Yeah, yeah. Gosh dang it, yeah, this one's, I knew this one was gonna be the problem, child. And it's almost, uh, you know, it's, well, I got to move about half an inch, perhaps. Actually, let's go ahead and swap my bit out after all this. Yeah. 
ね。Now see, folks, this is why machinists charge you extra money if you got to uh, if they want to fix your shenanigans. If you do it yourself, you might save a couple hundred dollars like we are. So as you can see, pretty much that wrist pin will be a lost cause. I'm trying. I was just trying to chisel around here. So we actually just pull the connecting rod out with a wrist pin, but surprisingly it's still stuck in there pretty good. But let's we'll continue whacking and thwacking on it till something more breaks. <laughs> There we go. That's what I was aiming for. Now I can just get a piece of wood down there and just drive it with the 10 pounder. Woo! <laughs> yeah, like I Kindling. said, it had a, a four by four is what it took last time. Yeah. Do you want to hold it? I mean, I suppose you can hold it if it's well, down was, below or shim it up. I was like having to at least have a nice, but that, that yeah. won't break. So this, he doesn't have to hold it because my aim's back because it's getting really late uh -huh. at night, but this will keep uh -huh. it somewhat centered to protect the uh, cylinder wall, allegedly. Hopefully. This is what that way I can get really get on it, you know. Open up the wide open throttle. Trying to get it to... This project is not supposed to make me sweat this much, especially in October. Oh. Working on gold, gold, gold. I might, I might hold up for a couple of good dead blows. Just watch your camera. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we'll be alright. Oh. Four. Whoa. Yeah, that's a brand new connecting rod right there. She'd be ready to go. So Ooh. that's sometimes what you gotta resort to uh getting it out. <laughs> yeah, that's uh <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Let's take a look. Rest of the bores don't look too terrible. Not terrible. Those pistons came out fairly easily in the valves that were closed. And to be honest, if all the valves were closed, this thing probably would have cleaned up just fine. But our motto on this channel, as you well know, nothing but problems, slash we just can't have nice things. <laughs> now if this was my rig, I would probably just go ahead and use my 460 in the back, risk it for the biscuit, just, you know, hone it, rings, just like I did with the service truck and put it back into service and use this block here that came with the pickup as a core or something like that, just throw it on the back shelf or something. But this is my... Brother's car, Trans M Hologram. He is a uh, customer and he says he would rather see a zero hour engine put back in it so he knows the history on it. I says, okay, well, it's your call. So, what's going to get us sent off to the machine shop? Next episode, we're going to work on those cylinder heads and see what it takes to pull those stuck valves out and uh, pull some exhaust studs as well. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yes, I'm sure you guys are going to really kill me for just air hammering it and just going full send on it, but... Oh well, they'll create more content for you later. I should have probably taken a little bit more time, but there's still no guarantee that was going to come out. <laughs> so we'll explore that fun catastrophe, hopefully in the next installment. If you wouldn't mind checking out my boy Sword of George, link in the description down below. Uh, one of my partner channels. He's close to a thousand subscribers and if we can at least get them to a thousand subscribers That would be cool. So instead of corporate getting all the ad revenue money He can actually have a piece of the pie too so he can have a few coins and bring you guys more fun uh, content from the island 
Ah, uh, yes. I'm tired. I'm done for the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Holy moly! How did that get all banged up? <laughs> I must have been using it for a driver. It is not an impact driver. <laughs> well, it is now. I won't even focus. Ech. Stop it. But at least it's out. I'm yes. surprised. That that did not give me as much guff as I thought it was going to be pulling the torque converter out. I've never had to do that before. Okay. How wide of a lens is this? Where's my belly at? Oh, perfect. I'm right out of scene right here. Perfect. Nice. Like, just. Nice. But before we do that, guess what? We got to change camera angles again. Well, not by, by much. Mmm, 10 for good, buddy. I'm taking this with me. What? I just can't find good help these days. Alright. Uh, oh, the spacer snout comes right out. Look at that. Why aren't you guys focusing? Things I gotta edit out of my video now. Whoa, 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 Oh, well, we're not in focus. Remember, you gotta put it back in autofocus when you're done. Uh-oh. Uh oh, no. Really? Adjust the camera a bit more. Oh, hello. Do a pre-soak and a courtesy scrub down so we're not fighting ourselves too badly. So all that means we gotta move the camera. Yep, again. And then we're gonna turn off the light. Actually, we're gonna stop the. I'm gonna move the camera back over because I don't know how to count. Can't see anything. Just can't have nice things. 